So of course, there are many things about Doctor Who that render it to be as distinctive and unique as it is. The leads, the stories, and of course, the TARDIS. But there are none more distinctive than the theme tune itself. The alien haunting theme that started it all is undoubtedly one of the best known and most appreciated television themes of all time. And of course, it has been arranged in many, many different ways across the over 50 year history of Doctor Who, and has been remixed by fans alike in several different ways. Almost any style you can imagine is probably been done. So today, I'm going to count down my top five Doctor Who televised theme tunes. All entirely my opinion, of course. Everybody likes a list as well. It's why Watch Mojo is still so inexplicably popular. Anyway, I'm going to be linking the themes down below in the description so you can listen to them without me talking. Anyway, let's get to it. Number 5, Murray Gold, 2008. Firstly, Murray Gold is undoubtedly a superb composer. Having contributed hundreds of tracks to Doctor Who since his revival, he's been a superb mainstay to the creative team, and if he has indeed left ahead of Series 11, then I wish him the best. As such, Gold has contributed at least six different arrangements of the Doctor Who theme, two for the RTD era, and four for the Moffat era, including the one-off theme at the end of Day of the Doctor. So the number five slot naturally goes to his second RTD arrangement. This one first premiered in Voyage of the Damned, but was refined and slightly shortened for the whole of Series 4 and the following specials. What I love about this theme is that it conveys a serious sense of swashbuckling adventure. You have the drums, the more energetic feel, while still keeping the Derbyshire motifs. It's the perfect theme for running, really. It takes an already amazing arrangement of the theme and brings it into line with the feel of the last series of the Tempt Doctor's era, where the music did take on a bit more of a thumping feel, with tracks like Corridors and Fire Escapes. But anyway, great arrangement. Number 4, Kef McCulloch, 1987. This one is underrated. With the dawn of the Sylvester McCoy era came a brand new audio and somewhat visual aesthetic for the show. A brand new title sequence made entirely out of CGI, which was state of the art for TV at the time, and naturally came, with that, a brand new theme tune. This is such an unusual version of the theme tune as it changes the format of the theme itself. Gone are the repeated opening beats from the last 23 years, but hello middle 8 into the opening theme. That hasn't happened since the Delareth theme in John Perdry's era, and even then, that was just fleeting. Now why do I love this theme? I have a massive soft spot for 80s aesthetics. But this theme has a lot of mystery to it. While the gold versions focus on being epic and the Derbyshire versions focus on being eerie, the McCulloch version features on being eerie with a hint of epic. But more than that, it conveys that sense of alien mystery extremely well with a sinister bass line in the good old A minor key. And all this makes probably one of the most unique of all the televised themes, if not the most unique. Now, whether that's a good thing or not is entirely up to you, but I seriously enjoy this theme. Really good. Number 3. Murray Gold, 2005. Ah, uh, now this one is iconic. The first and still probably the best theme of the Revival series to date. This is Gold's first foray into the world of Who, and man did he come into it extremely well. The theme that oversaw Christopher Eccleston's and two thirds of David Tennant's tenure, there's so much to love about this version. The opening site alone is a perfect remix of the Derbyshire theme with modern instrumentation, channeling Gold's bombastic style into a form that remains unbettered by any of its successors. But, oh, it gets even better. While Series 1's closing theme was a remix with the looped opening theme from Tom Baker's tenure, the closing theme of Series 2 and 3 had an all new orchestral addition to the theme, which is just beautiful to the ears. As a child, before I got the soundtrack, I remember re watching the next time trailers of Series 2 over and over again just for that deep orchestral version of the theme. It was that addictive. So it's good. Pretty good. Remarkably good. Loop worthy. Number 2, Delia Derbyshire 1967. Of course, Gauls was iconic to the 21st century, but this is still the definition of an iconic TV theme for all of time. The original 1963 version was eerily slow and unsettling, but a joy to listen to, but this slightly remixed version is almost definitely the most famous and well-remembered version of the Doctor Who theme. Having overseen the tenures of Patrick Troughton, John Pertry, and all but the last season of Tom Baker. And the strange thing is, not much is done to the instrumentation. It's just been given a few extra background effects and an added echo, and somehow it makes a world of difference to the energy of it. And what we get is an absolutely wondrous theme that is simply timeless. John Pertwee and Tom Baker, of course, got a shortened adaption of the opening theme, with Pertwee's occasionally having a stuttered start. One thing that is disappointing is that the middle eight was effectively erased from the vast majority of episodes between season eight and season 17. 
only showing up occasionally when the credits were longer than usual. But it doesn't change the fact that the repeated loop version of the closing thing captures that laid-back, eerie and dramatic feeling of the original 1963 version, in comparison with the opening's higher-octane 1967 version. Amazing what a few years can do to a theme. That one is definitely the most definitive version of the theme. However, it is not quite my favourite. Which is... Number 1. Peter Howell, 1980 Oh, it just had to be this one, by a mile. This is just a glorious lesson. A brand new theme for a brand new era of the show. 1980 was the point of which the show was stylistically overhauled with a brand new aesthetic both audio and visual wise. And not only that, but in the writing as well. Season 18 is honestly one of my favourite Doctor Who seasons of all time, ranking just below Tom's Hinchcliffe era, but even then it's difficult to bear the two. But that's a discussion for another day. With the Derbyshire arrangement now considered outdated by the new incoming producer John Nathan Turner, Peter Howell created this version which blends synthesized electric guitar and keyboards outstandingly, debuting in Tom Baker's final season. What I love about it is the whole rock vibe to it. It takes that energy set by the 1967 version and further builds on that to become a beautifully progressive theme in its own right. The bass line adds to it the drama of the piece like wildfire, it's just so catchy. And plus, it brings back the much missed middle eight, which is now here to stay for the rest of the classic run. Undoubtedly, this is my personal favourite of the themes. It's just so ridiculously good to listen to, and iconic in its own right. Well, that was all my thoughts, now what about yours? Feel free to let me know your top 5 themes in the comments section below, I'd love to hear your thoughts. And also, if you want any more DW2012 news to tide you over, then feel free to check out the uh, Q&A that I've done with Dr. Chapman, aka The Valyard. I shall link that later. So, until next time, see ya!